With advancement of geometry nodes, things are getting more intriguing by the day. And today, we are looking at one of the most creative, useful, and advanced use of geometry nodes, introducing Villagen. Villagen is a village generator built entirely with the geometry nodes, which allows you to create villages with a simple swipe of a curve. And today, we're going to take a full look at how this tool works and some of the amazing things that you can now do with it. A huge shout out to Alan for making this possible, and for anyone who likes to get this, Link to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. Once you purchase Villagen, you would notice that you have three files. The Villagen, which is the village generator itself. You also have the castle generator and a single building tweaking tool. You know, it's just something that is super crazy and you guys will understand when we start playing with it. Click, drag and drop the Villagen right in here. And once we power this right here, you can see the magnificent thing that Geometry Node is now capable of. I mean... This is working as a procedural tool. Actually, like one whole year ago, this was totally impossible. And right now we have this in our fingertips. This doesn't just create villages, but it also supports intersection. And for intersections, it gets to create something very beautiful, which you can tweak and play with. And taking a look at this, you would see that we have lots of nice and amazing things going on here. So I'm just going to zoom all the way out and uh, let's take a closer look. Let's jump into the camera mode. And take a closer look at what we have and you can see we have the village houses and of course we also have the lamp post which is beautiful and if you get very close 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 you would now start noticing that we have markets geometry nodes is just crazy right now and you can also see from this section that we do have some you know vegetation going on here and you also see that we have this beautiful pillar let's see if we can make ours okay maybe that might just prove to us that this is cool so i'm just going to go ahead and select the curve which is the street curve right here and i'll press the tab key and let's see what we can make let's take a look at this from the top view let's swipe and let's see does it generate? okay oh oh this looks super nice take a look at this bad boy all right so this looks cool let's also go ahead and see what we can do from this section so I'm just going to go through and create some stuff around here. Let's see. Okay. Okay. This starts looking interesting. What if we intersect this? What if we just choose to cut across? So I'm just going to go in and cut across this one. Let's see what we can get. And that looks super nice. So to each intersection, it sort of creates like a communal place where people get to meet. And this makes sense because, you know, in most cases, towards every intersection, there's always this very beautiful roundabout and uh, it, it's pretty nice the, the whole town planning thing that is going on here. And if we choose to see what this looks like in EV, actually let's look at this in cycles because I think that might be super dope in cycles. Let's switch over to cycles, GPU, yes, and hit the render button and let's see what we can get. Awesome. So this looks good. Let's take all of this out and look at them. All right. So you can see what we have here. Fully textured, highly textured actually, not just fully textured. And you can see we have the lighting thing going on there. Look at those candles. Okay. Look at the texture on this. Look at what we have for the floor. The floor is so impressive. Super nice stuff. And if you like to tweak this, of course you can. So if we jump all the way back and go over to the geometry nodes, you get to find all of the bells and whistles and things you would like to play with right in here. So let's go all the way out and take a look at this from a given view so you guys can see that. So if you like to make some tweaks to this, this is like the basic building tweaking node. So you can make that. You can choose to make this taller, smaller. If you have your own custom models, which you would like to place in here, of course, you can put all of that right under the building piece. So all here where you have the building pieces, this is where you can fit in all this stuff. So do create your own custom ones if you like to create your custom villages and you can load them right here as well. And at the same time, you can also have these ones going on and you can just choose to play with these to your hat content. This is more like the basic way of getting some very high quality stuff going. And this is also going to be great for game makers and also people trying to create all of these medieval things. And if you do have your own custom models, then you can go large scale, create urban cities and all that stuff. And this is just super mind blowing. And you think that this is where it ends? No, this is no way it ends. Remember I mentioned to you guys that you have three of these. So the second one is a castle generator. Let's go in and load this castle generator up. And you can now start seeing what we have. With the castle generator here, take a look at what we get. If we choose to press the playback button, you've noticed that this randomly creates castles for us. At the same time, you still have access to your geometry node. So if there's actually anything here that you want to tweak, you would like to change, 
Yes, you can. So if we take a closer look, you see we have the building generators right there. We also have some more tweaking going on here. And, you know, it's just totally up to you what you want. If you just want to generate castles or maybe you have your own custom models and you want to get different generations every single time, then just go ahead and press the playback button and this would randomly create stuff for you. And it is super dope. You want to see what it looks like from the camera view? Okay. So if we just simply start doing this, you can see all of these bad boys having fun and it's looking super, 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 super dope. But this is not all. There is one more that you guys definitely need to see. And this is the single building generator. So if we load this in, by default, you get to see this cube and you think this is what you get, but that is not it. If you go over to your modifier section and you turn this on, you get to see the geometry node in action. If we press the tab key and jump in and start looking at this from a very wonderful point. So let's go ahead. And what we're going to do now is tap three on the keyboard, select the certain part. So let's say we'll select these parts. And what we're going to do is extrude it. So once I extrude this up to this point and turn this on, you start seeing that we're getting something beautiful. So I can extrude this, I can compress that, and you can see the adaptability that this brings to the table. So this is great, but what is even greater is this, that if we select every single thing here and we turn this off and I tap S on the keyboard and scale this down, you can see the model changes. What if you don't want to work with this from the edit mode? You can of course go ahead and work with this within the object mode and this is also super awesome. So hold on shift tab D on your keyboard, make a copy and then what we're going to do is to scale these up just like we did with the edit mode. So once we scale this up, you notice nothing happens. The reason is because we haven't applied the scale and to apply this, we can simply hit control A or we can go over to the object section, go all the way down here where you have apply and apply the scale. And once you apply the scale automatically, this converts to what it's supposed to be. So other things that we can do now is to go ahead and make more so we can make more of this. So for example, if we also like to stretch this, we can do that. So I can tap S on the keyboard and tap Y and stretch this all the way out, hit control and tap A on the keyboard and apply all transform or simply apply the scale. And that way this would also adapt just like it did within the edit mode. From here, you can proceed to do some styling and fix your scenes the way you want. So you have three different asset types that you can work with just in case you like to create an entire village, or maybe you want to create different kinds of castles, or probably you're thinking about making these modular pieces yourself. You have all of these things at your fingertips. And right now you can go over to the gum road, which I'm going to put link in the description and grab them as it is. And for those who like to customize this, the geometry node makes it even easier for you to customize it. All you need to do is get your set pieces and put them within the collection. And from there, you can start generating that amazing village that you've always wanted to make. A huge shout out to Alan for making this possible. And a huge shout out to folks at Blender for making these amazing geometry nodes available to everyone. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and i see you guys in the next one peace